say welcome back to the vlog. We just ended off our last vlog, so I decided to go ahead and vlog. I'm actually hoping that we can go to the grocery store here in a little bit after we eat breakfast. Um, I got all of my cleaning done this morning, so I want to go. It's only about 8.30 almost. So I kind of want to go to the grocery store, but I got to call and check with my husband to make sure that's okay. I don't really know. So we'll have to wait and see. We, we are out of a couple things. We need like milk and eggs and just like just some basic stuff. I need some stuff maybe to plan out some dinner meals for this week. Um, just like some mild stuff that I want to get to make. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. So I would like to go to the grocery store, maybe include a little grocery haul in this vlog for you guys. We will see though because I don't know if I'll actually be able to go, but we will see. So I will give you guys an update on okay, that. So we later. just got back from Walmart. I'm gonna share with you guys on this vlog really quick what we bought instead of doing a whole separate just grocery haul that I <laughs> included in this haul or this vlog. Are you gonna help me? You gonna help me do this grocery haul? Hmm? You gonna help? <laughs> Babe, really? So I had picked up this card that was like not very expensive, but for someone that passed away, and um, we got some of these blueberry bagels that was in the dairy section, so these weren't really that expensive. We got some double zipper storage bags and some freezer bags because I did not have neither one of those. Um, I got, you guys know the last time I think I did a grocery haul. I bought one of these little drinks because I think they're really good. And if you're a person like me that doesn't get your recommended vegetable in you, no. this is a really good alternative. Um, they're like a dollar ninety four, I want to say, at my Walmart, something like that. I think. No. So I mean, they're not too bad, no. and they taste really good. They have all kind of different flavors. We got some French Vanilla Delight. I'm actually currently not drinking coffee. I've been kind of back on tea right now. But the reason why I buy this is for my oatmeal. So I think I explained it in another video how to do it. But it's so freaking good if you guys have never tried it before. But thanks to my aunt, I now eat my oatmeal with this French vanilla coffee creamer. So that's why we picked up more of that because it was running out. We got some bow ties because I'm going to make chicken alfredo. And I just decided to get the bow ties this time. I switch it up and we'll get like penne pasta or just whatever you want you get alfredo noodles but i just like to switch it up so i got the bow ties this time to try we got a bag of sweet onions i use onions in almost everything i make so i needed some of those i got my husband some munchies peanut butter crackers for his lunch these are for my husband the peanut butter cream pies we got some milk chocolate chips i normally get semi-sweet but i got milk chocolate this time um, to make chocolate chip cookies next week. Um, this is our favorite peanut, peanut butter of all time. It's a little expensive. It was like five something, but I mean, it's really, really good. And we use this in our oatmeal, so I'll use like a good amount. We got some sugar. Um, I got some chicken breasts to do for the chicken alfredo. 2% milk. This is mainly Kohl's. I swear he's the only one that drinks it unless we eat cereal. Um, or unless I'm using it to cook with like something. But got some Singles American Craft cheese. Some bananas. These are for Kohl. Um, I haven't bought these in a while because I forget about them. But these are really good. They're just like the, the graham crackers. But they're Scooby Snacks. And they're really good. Um, we got my favorite yogurt. Which is this one. Some nacho cheese Doritos for taco bowls because I like to use these now. We like to, we don't even like to do traditional tacos anymore. We just like to make our own like little bowl. I kind of have like a, I do like a taco salad for me because I add spinach in mine. It is so bomb. Um, which just reminded me I forgot to get the mild sauce. Dang it. But anyways, some Nutty Buddies for my husband's lunch. These are my husband's favorite crackers. Um, this is some cream cheese to go with my bagels, and I got the brown sugar and cinnamon. It's really good stuff. We got some eggs, some sharp cheddar cheese, and some taco blend cheese. Um, four cheese pasta on the Lipton sides, and or the Nora sides, I mean. And some creamy, creamy garlic shells. These are for Cole, because sometimes 
This is what Cole eats for dinner because sometimes he won't eat anything else. He's a pasta kid all the way. So garlic Alfredo sauce for our chicken Alfredo. Cole will eat chicken Alfredo, so I know that is one thing he will eat. Cream of mushroom soup. You can never have enough of this. I always need it for some kind of recipe. Same goes with the cream of chicken. So I like to stay stocked when I can on this kind of stuff. Cranberry grape. Um, the ocean spray is what I bought last time and we really liked it, but I decided to get the off brand. Great value just to save a little money and hopefully it's good. We got some mild taco seasoning for taco bowls. A meatloaf packet because I'm going to make meatloaf. Um, some my this is for me this is all mine I'm the only one that drinks this but I will drink the whole thing I like to use use it for my cereal and just to drink it um, does better I think for me and my stomach issues so I got some some pine saw it was completely out and then I picked up this Airwick apple cinnamon refills for my little Airwick things so that is pretty much it for this grocery haul I hope you guys enjoyed it I spent around oh yeah there was also some stocking stuffers for my husband. So my total ended up being 104. And um, a lot of that was some of the stocking stuffers that I bought for his stocking. So I don't know how much this stuff would have cost without that stuff. Probably 90 bucks maybe. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed um, the grocery haul. And we're going to move on now. late morning I'm eating a cookie right now because I made chocolate chip cookies yesterday and I made a lot so I'm gonna have one more cookie not eating very well but oh well they're really good they ash the only thing I didn't really like about them is that they just kind of turned out flat but I mean they taste good so they're actually the recipe off the back of the Walmart um, chocolate chips. I just followed that recipe and they're really good. And I got in a cookie mode yesterday and finally decided to bake cookies for Christmas. So that's what I'm at with that. About to make us lunch right now. It is 11 o'clock. We ate kind of early today. We woke up early today and that's what's up. Huh. Kind of boring. The house is clean. Clean my house. Cole's going nuts as usual. The dog's going nuts. We're all going nuts. Bored out of my mind. It's freezing raining outside. Typical stuff. You know? I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this little turnable thing under here, but it's really nice, but I don't have like a lot of stuff. Let's like fill it to fill it with. <laughs> But, I really like it. I just don't have a lot of food to fill it up, but. Oh, I do have tuna. I'm going to make chicken alfredo. And my husband drove to work today in this crap. I hope he makes it home safely. But, I just don't know what to do today, you guys. I'm very, just like, bored. And the dog will not leave me be. <laughs> the dog is about like coal up my butt every freaking second. <laughs> Even though Cole's pretty independently playing right now, so I'm kind of 
glad about that but while they were having like a christmas festival at harper's ferry i think that'd be so fun to go and experience that at harper's ferry but like obviously we're not going to get to do that because it's tomorrow and my husband has to work but i think that'd be really cool to do to go down if you guys have never been to harper's ferry west virginia you definitely definitely should go if you ever come to the state it's very history um like the number one most haunted towns so if you're into ghosts and that kind of stuff but i don't think they let you go down after dark though which is when i would want to go i think they kind of shut the town down so it's just kind of like it's basically like a historic town that just doesn't like function like they i don't think they let you go down in it unless you actually have a house and live there dog you're about to get your face torn off the cat is just not having it but there is a couple of houses there in Harper's Ferry that people actually still live in, but for the most part, the whole town's like deserted, which is kind of crazy, but um, it's kind of neat. It's just all like history, museums, and that kind of stuff, but I actually have a vlog on my channel if you want to go check it out from where me and my husband went to Harper's Ferry. You can just type it in in my name. I think we went there twice, but I think I only filmed the one time we went, and um... I used to go all the time when I was a kid because my parents would take me and my brother and I would always take a friend or something with us to go watch the fireworks in July. They used to set off fireworks there in Harbors Ferry and we would always go every single year and then they quit doing that. They quit having fireworks and they were always the best fireworks of all time. So that's no longer but my parents made it a tradition for a long time and it was really cool so hopefully i can do that with cole as he grows older hopefully we can come up with some traditions to do throughout the years and cole will have those memories to look back on which i think will be pretty cool so anyways i'm gonna try to find something for lunch i was thinking about making a smoothie but i'm just kind of like i want something hearty you know like something like a grilled cheese or something Good afternoon guys. So I'm gonna I'm eating some deer bologna right now. It's so freaking good. It's got these little pieces. I don't know if you guys you guys can see it easily. Those little white pieces is actually little pieces of cheese that is inside of the bologna. It is so good. Some guy my husband works for um gave him all this bologna well i mean it wasn't free we had to pay for it but i mean it was it's really really good and worth it i'm kind of glad that my husband got all this stuff but he also i mean look at all this do you mind quit we got all this deer bologna or shoot we got all this deer burger this is all deer burger you guys like tons of it this is all deer tender tenderloin i think in these little packages and then in the back there's tons more of deer bologna and then my husband someone else gave him um a tenderloin from a deer right here so there's so much deer meat in my freezer right now that it's crazy but it's so far this deer bologna is like really really good probably one of the best deer bolognese i've ever tried so I'm eating that with some crackers and I'm having a smoothie, Cole, I made him a grilled cheese, but he didn't really want anything to do with it. Today is Saturday, by the way, and tomorrow we're thinking about doing something. We just don't know what yet. Um, so it's just kind of up in the air, but we know we want to go do something. So I got to get the nighttime routine video edited. Hopefully here when Cole goes, takes a nap, I'm going to do that. I got to do dishes, put dishes away it's nasty outside again it's um raining and just kind of nasty it's been raining literally for like five days you guys i'm not even kidding you and i'm getting so tired of it but like we're making the best out of it okay welcome back to a new me <laughs> i chopped my hair off you guys it's crazy. I um, I really love it. It feels so much lighter than before. Um, I have really thick hair. If you guys didn't already know that, if you've been watching me for a while, then you already knew that. But because I've talked about, talked about how thick my hair is, but um, I cut my hair off, and I love it. So I'm excited. 
I feel fresh and new and it's just something I've been wanting to do for a really long time and I just haven't got to go do it and my husband treated me today and we went to Harrisonburg and I spent literally like three hours getting my hair done. I got highlights in it as well which um, the highlights this time didn't really, to me, like my hair color doesn't really seem a whole lot different. Um, I told the girl that I wanted like um, heavy highlights, which I like the way that it turned out. So it's, it's good, like you can see the highlights in it. But um, I don't know why, I was just expecting it to be like a little bit more dramatic or something but um, it doesn't really matter because it looks natural and it looks good so I'm happy with it so yeah I'm not really a fan of like she she just blew blow dried it and used like a round brush so I'm not really I kind of want to run my bath water right now so you guys can hear in the background but um I like just straightening my hair like it's a little straighter than this so I don't really like it kind of volumized like I don't know why I'm just not used to my hair being like that, so. So anyways, that's what we did today. We had a really bad experience eating at Applebee's today in Harrisonburg. We will not eat there again. Um, service was just really terrible and the food was, just, was not that good. Oh. I'm vlogging. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell me Cole was up. <laughs> Look at fix your ear. Fix your ear, crazy. Cole went down. He went down hard, you guys, because he had no nap at my grandparents' house. So, um, he just went to bed and it's seven o'clock. We just got home on a Sunday night. So, um, my husband did some Christmas shop for me today while I was in there getting my hair done for that amount of time it always takes me that long to get my hair done though i'm not even kidding you every time i get highlights it takes like hours um uh oh do you want to go out The shampoo that the girl recommended to me today because I wanted to get some kind of shampoo um, for my hair so I went ahead and got this little gift set of the Stay Cool Burnettes. This is like brass off. So like anytime you get your hair colored or highlights sometimes the highlights can get like an orangey like kind of like that color blonde that you don't really want. It just kind of turns and fades out from that really pretty blonde. So um, she recommended this shampoo which I've never used this before so I hope I like it I'll let you guys know if I do if you guys ever color your hair and you want to get tried out I'll let you know but I was also asking her about a shampoo that um, she would recommend for a dry scalp and I think she recommended the tea tree um, shampoo or the Paul Mitchell I forget which one now maybe both but the next time I run out of this stuff I might try to get some something for my dry scalp and I really would like to try the tea tree oil because I almost bought that kind. I think it's a tea tree shampoo. It's like salon shampoo. So if you guys have ever used that, let me know down below. I really would like to try something for my dry scalp. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I feel like it was definitely not as eventful as I wanted it to be. It's just been kind of like an update and that kind of stuff. And you guys have to let me know what you think about my hair. I'm probably going to post a picture of it on Instagram or something. Maybe tomorrow. So, I don't know. I just wanted to just let everybody know, you know, cut my hair. I'm not the same person as I was. I'm just kidding. I'm the same person that you do. So, I love you guys very much. Thanks for watching our videos. And give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. Hope you're having a happy holiday season. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.